Shared education for me is providing a quality education for the young people in your community, regardless of what background they come from. It's about respecting our ethos, our values and our tradition, but also understanding and respecting the tradition of our friends and neighbours in St Mary's. It's about using the resources to the best of your ability. From a, an economic point of view, it makes sense to share. It's much more about high quality teaching and learning and creating greater opportunities for children to enrich their curriculum by offering subjects that we couldn't offer in Limavady High School, but St Mary's can offer next door. The last seven or eight years, we have been sharing a lot of space with our joint classes every week. The high school would offer subjects like moving image arts and performing arts to our school like, don't offer, so I think it's good that like you're given the opportunity to kind of do whatever subject you want to do. I come over here for travel and tourism because they don't offer it over at our school and it's a good opportunity over here. Over my school, St Mary's in Body, we can't do moving image, so I chose to do it for A level. We are offering a much wider curriculum. Our pupils are able to go over and study drama and learning for life and work, and their pupils are able to go over and study technology. It didn't happen overnight. These relationships started in the early 70s at a difficult time. And even though there may have been many obstacles, I think the people who have gone before myself and Darren looked for solutions rather than problems. In 1975 there was a round tree project in the University of Ulster and that started local studies classes. In the 70s it was not an easy place to be teaching. The tension around the hunger strike and so on. It was a tough call, uh, tough for the kids, tough for staff in both schools to, to manage it. The principal in St Mary's was Peter McGurr. The principal here would have been Ronnie Lapsley. I have to say both of them were very supportive of that. The idea was history is taught one way in this sector and another way in this sector. Can we get a shared understanding of history and culture and what we're about in this strange divided little country? Some mixing of the two groups began to take place for the first time without any prompting by the teachers. And those were great opportunities for kids to actually sit together, play together and realise, OK, we have different cultural baggage, but we can actually get on. What we wanted to really impact on, above all, was improvement in community relations long term. And I think there is substantial evidence to show that today, in 2018, we'll well down that journey. At the start, they're kind of very timid to kind of mix with people. And by the time they get to year 10, they're just like, well, I've partnered with you before, so this is all really good. So they kind of like it for a bit of like banter and crack. What else can you give somebody that might be discriminated against? Glasses and yeah. This year is the first time I've came and worked with anyone from the Catholic side. I've made new friends coming here and I run about with them after school and do stuff now and stuff like that. You get the opportunity to meet new people that like I would have never met Jake and Jack if we hadn't had to share classes. Some people I wouldn't have mixed from the high school I knew and I can like, speak to them outside of school now. Kids are kids, no matter where they come from, no matter how they talk, no matter what uniform they wear. As time goes on, they start to realise people aren't actually waiting to shout things at them. I came to St Mary's in 1975. There was a very close friendship between the principal at that time, Peter McGurr, and Mr Stanley Stewart, who was principal 
here in Limabari High School at the time. You know, they had their own challenges during the Troubles. I think those people saw the potential to provide something very unique for the young people of the Roe Valley area. I can so remember, even, even back in the mid-70s, early 80s, to uh, uh, the tension in the two schools was, was, was difficult. You wouldn't have seen too many uh, uniforms from either side of the traditional divide walking down the town in the afternoon together. So there was a lot of work going on there, baseline work, to try and impact positively on, on change there. We as a school had lost two young people uh, amongst the many other victims in Northern Ireland. There were events in the past that we had to attempt to be sympathetic towards those, to be aware of those, but also to take account of their history. But that was managed, I think, within that realm of leadership and the building of relationships that acknowledge difference but celebrate a difference. In the early years of uh, classes, say for A-level, we would have had maybe some pupils who would initially have been concerned about having to come into a Catholic school, that there would be a statue on the wall, that there could be a crucifix that they would pass under. And once they came into the school, once they saw how well they were treated in the joint class and how happy they were, then the situation eased. We were working really hard at, at the hearts and minds of youngsters, that we might have different histories, but we are still uh, human beings living in this part of the world and we have to learn to respect each other. If it's a gradual approach to change and you, you celebrate little successes and you gradually build it into the culture across the schools and grow it in a timely way, then it isn't controversial. And you suddenly discover that people are gradually climbing on board Maybe not totally understanding what you're doing, but actually see the benefits of it. And that, I think, is the strength of where we are today in the Limavati area, that the journey started that far back. The community have bought into it in Limavati, which is very exciting for us. And the local councillors and MLAs have also been very, very supportive right from the start of the project. Outside school, I'm friends with the boys from the high as well. So by coming here, like being a shared class, you get more friends and experience more. No difference in it. I think everybody just gets on the same as this, like, you know, I don't get it. We're not integrated. I am St Mary's, Limavati, a CCMS school, a Catholic school, and Darren is Limavati High School from the control sector. We have our own identities, but we have more in common than we have that's different. And I think that you can do that in a very positive way. It's over £8 million pounds been invested from, from Together Building United Communities Fund and the British government have invested £50 million per year for 10 years. So it's exciting times for this project and we are hoping that the first digger will be on site in November of this year and complete it by 2020.